Hello, welcome to Life is Strange 2, episode 8. Now, before we start today, I just want to point out the reason for the existence of the possible spoiler warning signs you can see above and below the camera view on screen. They're there for a reason, because I'm going to be discussing theories about how Daniel's superpower came to be, and also those superpowers of other characters in the Life is Strange series, and making some comparisons. So, if you don't want to hear this speculation and the possible spoilers therein, you need to jump ahead, please, to where you see the warning signs on screen disappear. It will be safe to return at that point. OK? Right. Question. Where did Daniel get his superpower from? And where, for that matter, did Max or Alex get theirs? There are people who say this is a peripheral question. It doesn't really matter. But I strongly disagree, because for me, the Life is Strange stories boil down to choice. These are characters who find themselves in situations where they can decide for themselves either to use their power or not. They can exert it for good or for evil. They're also the central characters whose actions or inactions change the course of events in the storyline for everyone around them. So speculating on how and why they got these powers is crucial to me because if they exist for a purpose, working out what that purpose is becomes, for the character and me, the player, the key to understanding the whole storyline. So, let's take the characters in turn. We'll start with Max. In Max's case, in Life is Strange, Life is Strange Before the Storm, her power, her superpower, to rewind time happened as a result of trauma. The first time it manifested itself in Life is Strange was when she acted to save Chloe's life in the bathroom of Blackwell Academy. Thereafter, realising she had this ability, she spent the entire story wrangling with whether to use her superpower or to refrain from using it, musing on whether there was some mystical force behind it, a reason for her having it, and ultimately battling to learn to control it rather than it controlling her. Max was in every sense the accidental everyday hero and ultimately she found herself tested by being presented with a massive life and death dilemma in which using her power or choosing not to use it solved one problem but created another. It was a literal no-win situation. The entire story focused down on Max making that choice. Right, let's turn to Alex. In Alex's case, in True Colours, she'd had massive childhood trauma. She was someone who'd grown up in the care system for years and years. She'd turned inwards upon herself and had developed a way of physically sensing, experiencing the emotions of other people around her. It was both her superpower, her shield and a curse. It made her overly sensitive to violent emotions so that she could become swamped by it. Her own personality could be submerged at times and it led her into conflict and difficulties in getting on with other people. Alex wished she could ignore her superpower. She wanted rid of it. She actually told her doctor she just wanted to be normal. But like with Max, her journey involved learning to harness her ability and to choose when to use it and when not. She actually turned it into a tool. She recognised that maybe her superpower did have a purpose and that purpose was to become a means of investigating and solving the mystery surrounding the death of her brother and bringing the guilty to justice. But what about Daniel? He's considerably younger than either Max or Alex. He shares Max's experience in one way in that his telekinetic power also manifested itself for the first time at a single point of overwhelming stress in his life when his father was killed by the police officer. And like Max, and to a degree Alex, he has no understanding of why or how he can do what he's able to, in his case, make objects move around him. He just knows he can do it. And also like Max, he's learned it doesn't have to be a traumatic event 
that triggers his power, he's established a degree of voluntary control over it, something that Alex in True Colours actually struggled with. So what is the purpose, assuming there is one, for Daniel having his superpower? In the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit, we saw Daniel save Chris after Chris took a nasty fall out of his treehouse and would have been badly injured, I suspect. Is this a hint at what's to come? We know that Sean's trying to teach Daniel the difference between constructive, intentional use of his superpower and the danger of it being unleashed involuntarily in anger. Are we going to see the reveal of a reason, a purpose for this power being available to Daniel, just like we did with Max and Alex? So having thought about some similarities and differences, what is behind the character's superpowers? Can we establish a likely origin for them? All three of them acquired their ability involuntarily. It was just there within them. Yes, Alex's power developed over several years more steadily with her bouncing around inside the care system, whereas Daniel and Max's powers appeared one dramatic day in each case for the first time. But did they arise because of this shared trauma that each had experienced? Was their power lying dormant within them since birth? And the trauma they experienced was the thing that triggered it, that released it. And it's interesting to think if it is a genetic predisposition, does this mean there are other young people with differing powers out there? Some of them already emerged, but hiding their powers. Others maybe just unconsciously waiting for life to do something to them that causes their power to emerge. I mean, if so, for the game devs, this is gold, isn't it? Because there are potentially so many more stories there waiting to be told. Or did they, if we go a different route, happen because some unseen force in the universe chose Max, Alex and Daniel and imparted these abilities to them. Was it something in a true sci-fi sense that came from outer space? It's a thing that's been used in many sci-fi stories and movies in the past and which somehow selected or randomly affected only a few human children and in different ways in each case. Or maybe if we go into the actual lore of the game itself, it's some kind of folklore connection, as with the Native American background to Blackwell Academy, uh, which Samuel, the mysterious groundsman, uh, seemed to be in tune with. Or perhaps we're just looking at some kind of Stranger Things type event, experimentation, but in a more disseminated form where many children have been exposed to this potential causation agent, whatever it is, but only a very few of them like Daniel and Alex of Max, have reacted? Are all our characters in the Life is Strange series part of some giant unseen study? So look, I have no idea which of these is correct or whether there are even more possible explanations out there. I rather suspect there are. My own favourite theory would be the genetic one, with the trauma as the thing which unleashes it. I do know that for the player as much as the character, as I've said, trying to work out in your own mind how these powers came to be does shape your experience of playing the game. It's something you haven't given much thought to, then I would thoroughly recommend it to you. It adds intrigue to the storyline and richness to the characters and their words and their actions. So right, Warning signs disappear. OK, Sean and Daniel have been hiding out in an abandoned house in the wintry woods, but Sean's pretty much decided that they can't go on like this. They've been hiding from the authorities for a while. It's time for them to start moving again. So let's pick up where we left off and get into Life is Strange 2, Episode 8. <coughs> Come back inside, dog. It's cold out there. Falling asleep. Sean's going to top up the fire. How long? 
long can this go on? How long can they survive doing this? Not very. It's a wonder that their presence in this place hasn't attracted attention. You know, they're, they're generating light and smoke from the fire and all the rest of it. There's got to be people about. Some responsibility, hey, Sean? He's lying there thinking how his life's changed. Okay, it is the next day. I hear a dog. Mushrooms in or out. Mushrooms pouring at the door. Hey, Daniel. Like... How are you doing? It sucks. I'm coming. Not an expert in packing, then. Uh, oh, mushroom. Um, I will open the door for you. I don't know there's anything new for us to see here. He's definitely a fast learner. He is, yes. Maybe too fast. Mm, it is worrying, isn't it? We've seen the wood stove. Oh, mushroom's cushion. There's a thing to see. Mushroom clung to Daniel on the first nights. Yes. But now she loves her bed by the fire. Yeah, what animals don't? Dogs, cats, you name it. Stick them next to a fire. Especially one like that and they're happy. Let's open this door for you, Mushroom. So you can go and... Well, you know. Pee, poo, whatever. Uh, right, I was coming to help you, wasn't I? What's your problem here? So, what's going on? It doesn't fit in. There's too much stuff. How can that be? It's fucking bullshit. Language? Okay, no more swearing. Sure. Like you're always polite. Come on, chill out. Yes. What did you pack in? What the f- Dude, you can't fit the whole room in. It's trying to take things Don't away. worry. Your super strong big brother can help. <sighs> can't afford Daniel to get irate or aggravated about something, can he? Because awesome. that temper of his... Thanks, Sean. Well, looks like we're almost set. It's got to be kept under control. Where's Mushroom? He's outside doing a... Still... Thing. I guess. I'm gonna check what she's up to. Okay, fair enough. Okay, I'll fill up our bottles and I'll catch up with you guys. Uh, okay, I'm g uh, We know that phone doesn't work. Feels almost good to be cut off from everything. Yeah. Until you have a real problem, and then it's not. Um, where are we? We're filling the bottles up from here. Let's refill. You know how to do this. Okay, we've done that. It sounded more like water pouring out of something than pouring into it. Um, right, it's saying, and I'll just take my camera off for a second so you can see this. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> it had the little water bottle symbol there to say we've got water bottles. All right. That's that's all done. I mean, we've done all that, haven't we not? We've looked at all of this stuff just about while we've been here. Um, where is Daniel? 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 Family photos. We've seen those. <laughs> the scotch bottle, <laughs> which did have something in it, but no longer has. I wish I helped Dad more. With yes. the house chores back then. But you didn't, so, you know. Um, Ag canteens to bag. Regret is a terrible okay. thing. Okay, all done. Where the hell is he? Question. Out in the wilds, I'm betting. The thing is, if something happens to you like that, or, you know, anything happens in life, you can learn a lesson from it, can't you? But 
revisiting it for the hundredth time, what what new things are you going to learn by doing that? You're not. You Daniel. can't fix that regret. Sure. Daniel! Hey, you out here? Somewhere. Oh, what's he got up to now? Daniel! Follow his tracks. Sean? Sean? The tracks, Sean. Where is he? Oh, I'm just going to follow them. Um, that's an old track. Is this a new track? There isn't, doesn't seem to be a way of telling, really. I don't think we went too far this way. This could be a new track. Couldn't it? I think so. Oh, now. Daniel's nowhere to be seen. Call him by holding L1. And Daniel? X. Where are you? He's not there. We'll keep going. Can't see him. Let's try up here. Dude! What are you doing? Dude. Daniel Dude, in fact. There are no tracks here. It's unlikely he came this way. Come on. Use your brain here, Sean. Uh, we'll go further along the river and see if he went that way. If he didn't go this way, we can turn around and go back the other way. We could jog. This would make it take less time. No tracks. No. No. I have to find Daniel and Mushroom. Yeah, you do. Daniel! Um, we'll go back the other way. Because now we're going to start confusing the tracks that are ours with tracks that are not ours. Did he go across? He cannot possibly have attempted to levitate himself across the river. Where is that kid? Daniel? Hey, what are you up to? I don't know where he is. <laughs> if I spend too much time wandering around here looking for the missing Daniel, I will edit this out because um, it's painful. We know that track went down there. That track doesn't go anywhere. I must have gone the wrong way when I came out of the house. He must have gone behind the house. Is that possible? Yeah, it is possible. I say answering my own question. But there are no tracks here. Come on, Daniel. Let's go. Where on earth has Daniel gone? Oh. What the fuck happened here? We have a trail of blood. Oh, goodness me. Stop messing around, man. Okay, wait. Why are you trying to walk over the top of that rock? You clearly can't. That's not good. That is not good. Um, let's crawl under the trunk. Oh my god, what has happened here? Oh. Oh, more blood. So, someone's had an accident or someone's been attacked. Daniel? Okay? Oh, you're Listen. Kidding. Leave me alone! No! Uh, I, 
I don't think we intervene here. Or do we? Do we step forward? Let's step forward. What's going to happen with the wild animal, though? No. I mean, that's Big Brother stuff Go right away. there, isn't it? Go! <laughs> no! Oh, no. no! We can't no. take Mushroom. I'm so sorry. He's going to be annoyed that you let it take Mushroom Just away. Wouldn't have changed anything to kill it. Interesting. Wouldn't have changed anything. I'm right here. It's all right. A lesson in not taking revenge? It was just nature, wasn't it? The animal was doing what was natural to it. But how's Daniel going to internalise that one? And the fact that his brother stepped in to stop him from hurting the other animal too. Interesting. I don't know quite what that's done to their relationship actually. Whether it's strengthened it or weakened it, or whether it's a neutral thing. I can't think it can be neutral. Right, where do we go? This is the next question. Our boys are busy burying a... well, nothing. Here. You should do it. You've, you've made a grave for a dog. And the dog isn't even there. I suppose it's more of a memorial then, isn't it? It's not actually a grave, search. That's it? Afraid so. It's pointless. You can't even bury her. Well, unless you want to say something. That's an idea. It's cathartic. Say goodbye. Uh, goodbye, Mushroom. <laughs> they did as well. You were such a good puppy. I'll always remember. Running through the snow with you. And how you, you snuggled. And I'll never forget you. Never. It's very sad. The lady at the shop would not be thrilled that you let Mushroom get eaten. Um, let's, let's say thank you to Mushroom. Thank you, Mushroom, for looking after us in these woods. Yeah, it brought you both won't be comfort, for comfort, didn't it? Especially Daniel. Sean. You think she's up in heaven? With Dad? Oh no, there's a question. No. There's no such thing. It's just us. Here. Okay. Rooted in reality Still, of the situation. I think that's unfair. I know, man. But you'll always be with us. In memories. True. Like Dad. True. That's all that matters. Yes. I'll never forget her. There you go. She's going to live on in your memory. Okay. We should go. It's getting late. Okay. That was very wise, wasn't it? When you think about it, anyone that you're not currently with, even if they're still alive, they only exist in your memory. Okay, well thank you House, you were a good refuge from the pursuing authorities, the weather, um, wild animals, but obviously you're still in the wilds as we just found out. Wish we didn't have to go. Really? I like having a house again. Hasn't, hasn't this one now got some bad memories associated with it? What Hit about my traps? Should we leave them up? <laughs> Don't protect the next runaways to stay here. Ooh, that's a bit harsh, because I mean, if any animals get trapped in I those... I put both you in charge of the house mushroom. <laughs> so long, my dudes. Yeah, farewell dudes. Two-headed snowman monster.
wants to. Where to now then, boys? Still not terribly well equipped for the winter weather, are they, clothing-wise? I mean, they say that kids don't feel the cold, and I think it's partly true, because you think back to when you were a child and you didn't really feel the cold when you were out in it. It was the adults who complained about it. I have to confess, I've been for a run this morning. I've got my hydration bottle here with all my stuff in and I'm sitting with the biggest blanket on my knee because though you come in really hot after a run, but then you have a real dip in body temperature and you can feel the cold tremendously. So here I am. I think that's called plodding through the snow. It's really tiring walking through snow. Okay, not looking too good. He's starting to get that look on his face that sort of suggests annoyance, doesn't he? And possible blame being transferred slightly to his big brother for the action that they're taking, the course they're taking here. I'd love to know what Sean's current plan is right at this very moment. They've moved away from the house because they'd exhausted all the sources of food, I suspect. And the longer they stay in one place, the more likely they are to be discovered, is his rationale, I would imagine. But having said that, does he even know where they are and where they're going to next? There's a heck of a lot of plodding going on here. They haven't seen a soul. They haven't even seen a road. They haven't seen signs of anybody else or heard noises from anyone else. I mean, that's that's one of the benefits of having trees to give you some shelter, isn't it? I suspect in this section there's a, a tiny bit of licensed music because I have licensed music turned off in the game. Um, I always do this when it's offered as an option by the developer. I think it's really cool that they do that. It just makes life simpler for you and you don't get uh, copyright notifications popping up when you upload your video to YouTube, which is no fun. All right, slight change in the weather. Sun's come out. Still very cold. Oh, oh, not so good. Beaver Creek welcomes you and has been doing so for a long time. And we've asked directions of a stranger, which is a risky thing to do because you're in the news, boys. So what was that little, that little transition there, wasn't it? From where they were to where they're going if you see what I mean. BC was the name of the place that was mentioned on his notes that he was keeping in his diary, in his journal. Beaver Creek. And it was a long walk, he said. Wow. Guys, you're going to freeze to death. And your cough's not getting any better. We made it, Daniel. It's been a long time since I was here. When was that? Before you were born. It's Christmas. It's night time. So he's going to knock on the door. He's going to ring the doorbell. Even. Come here. Let me check you out. Claire likes everything super clean. Dad said she got pissed because he let me bring a snowball in the house. Grandparents? You don't want to look like total pigs. Oh, you betcha. Ring that doorbell. 102.
Ring it again. What if they went on vacation? Or, or something? What if they're asleep? We'll figure out something. Ooh. I'm sorry, we don't want any of... Hello, Claire. Why is Sean? He Why is he calling her Claire instead oh of... If she's his grandmother. That... She can't Daniel? be his grandmother. What's going on out here? I heard... Look who's here! After all this time. What the hell are you doing here? Stephen, watch your mouth. Well... It's kind of a long story. <coughs> oh, good time to cough, Daniel. Oh, poor thing. You know he's sick, right? Yes. Yeah, but... Okay, he's inside. He's probably running a fever. Both of you. Right, so I'm guessing these are grandparents, but which side's grandparents? It says Reynolds, so obviously not... not Daddy's grandparents. This is Mum's parents. Yes. Ooh, that's got to feel so nice. <laughs> Wrapping your hands around a warm mug of something or other. Trappings of Christmas. Have these people decorated just for themselves? Or are they... Do they have other people with them? He's looking around remembering, isn't he? He's seen this before. Some of it will be very familiar. Hey, is it uh, warm enough for you? Oh, yeah. Feels nice and toasty. I gave toasty. Daniel some cough medicine, but you should have taken better care of him. I think you'll he need could have been that. worse. You were lucky. Stephen, may I talk to you for a second? They must know that the boys are on the run, mustn't they? I don't, also, I don't think the cough medicine's going to do the job. I seriously think we need more than that. I remember that. I think it used to be in the living room. They're having a discussion of what to do out there. Eavesdropping. Our grandchildren are wanted by the police for murder. I know. What if Sean is guilty? Sleeping in our home. Next to us. Let's, let's just ask him what happened. Then we'll figure something out. Okay? All right, Stephen. Oh, Lord. Okay, so I'm glad we eavesdropped on that then. So they do know, and then they're hesitant to involve anybody else because of the trouble it will get them in. They're not totally Are you sure all right, honey? whether Sean's innocent or guilty. Do you want more tea? Thanks. I'm good. Uh, tea doesn't solve everything. Well, Sean, uh, do you want to talk about... Uh, uh... The police called us a few weeks ago. They're looking for you as suspects in a homicide. We know. We were there. Now, if you want us to help you, did you hurt that police officer in Seattle? Um, I would say, don't swear, but I would say he would question the validity of asking that question as if they didn't know him well enough. Even given the fact that it seems some years have passed since he's been at this house. Seriously? You really think I killed that cop? No, don't, don't get mad. Sean, we have to ask. We only know what we saw in the news. True. All I know is that... He shot dead. And now he's gone. Oh, sweetie. We are so sorry for what happened to your father. But... Why did you run away if you're innocent? Mm, that's an obvious question, isn't it? Um, the truth. I didn't want Daniel to see Dad. Like that. 
I felt like I had to protect him. Not totally the whole truth, is it? You haven't said why. I understand, but... He's struggling. You know the police would separate us. Maybe forever. Then it would end up in foster care. Ah, you, you can't be sure, Sean. Anyway, at least you've managed to come here alive. Just, it wasn't easy, trust me. We're glad you two are okay. Good. I hate to think what could have happened to both of you. You need to think of long-term solutions now. He's done that already. I tried. I swear. But I can't do everything. So, what are your plans? Well, um, honestly? <sighs> Go down to Mexico, to Puerto Lobos. Dad has a family house there. Sean, you can't run away from the law like, like I fugitives. I knew she was going to say that. I knew she was going to say that. How can you look out for your brother if you're both running from the police? You two are going to stay with us. Thank heaven for oh, that. Stephen. Maybe we should... Should? After your mother left, your dad never really wanted us in your life. I can't blame him. But you're still part of our family, and we want to prove it, okay? Well, I mean, that's fantastic, but are you not scared? Whoa, really? Uh, uh, aren't you scared? The police already called you. Lordy, yes. But we were also scared for you. That's why you'll have to be careful around here. Beaver Creek is small mm -hmm. and nosy. Mm -hmm. We can stay? He was listening. Serious? He was awesome. listening. Oh, Sean. Guess what? There's a huge model train upstairs. Hey, you're supposed to be resting, young man. <laughs> yeah, yes he is. But he seems better already. Yes, it's amazing, isn't it? He nearly had pneumonia. Anyway, you and Daniel will stay here. At least until Daniel's better. We'll see what happens next. So, I bet you're hungry. They Let me fetch you something. That's gone well. Can I just say how much the animation is fantastic there? Did you notice the reflection of the table they were sitting at in Sean's eyes? If you didn't, rewind back and have a look. I wanted to say something at that moment, but they were busy chatting, so I didn't. Also, of course, this is Claire Reynolds. Claire? We've seen her face before. How do you feel, Superwolf? Think back to the Wait, awesome adventures of Captain Spirit. It's nice and warm in here. And the food? Yum. Yeah. Feels good. Feeling better? You look cozy. Yeah. I love that bed. Mm. Thanks, Grandma. Good. Your temperature is down. I'm be. way better now. You still need to take it easy. How about if we say a little prayer and, and give thanks? Why? Sean says heaven isn't even real. Now, boys, that's not very polite. We always say a prayer at bedtime. Always. Um, I'm just going to pause at this point because one of my neighbours has just started mowing their lawn. And it's a very large lawnmower and it makes a lot of noise. So uh, I'm going to let them finish the bit they're doing, which will not take them very long. And then I'll resume from this point. Back with you in a second. OK, I think it may be safe to resume now. Um, my neighbours move around the other side of his house, so I, I can't actually hear it from here, so I'm assuming that you won't hear it either. The answer to your question, I'm afraid, Grandma... We never do. We never, never. do. Dad didn't make us go to church, so... Why, maybe you're too young to know everything yet, but I can't make you pray. Well, it's time for bed.
And no roughhousing in here. No worries. We're too tired. Good night. Thank you again. Yeah. We'll be quiet. Good night, Grandma. Well, this is a difference to the last place you slept, isn't it, boys? So... It feels so nice to have a bed again. Grandma and Grandma and Grandpa are just going to keep that. quiet? Plus, you don't smell anymore. Whatever. Well, that prayer thing was pretty weird. I really hope we'll be okay here. I think so. And the more important thing is you'll have time to get better. Sean? Are we in Mom's old room? Nah, I don't think this is the one. Not from what I remember. But it's been a while. Could we check it out tomorrow? Maybe find some of her stuff? I think you'd better ask Grandma first before you do that. Why? Precisely? Why would you want to do that? I just don't know anything about her. Daniel, I understand. But we need to focus on yes. where we are now. First things first, and where shall we're we? Off to. Mom left us. Hmm. She made her choice. We gotta make ours, and we can't keep going back. You know what I mean? I do know what you mean, yes. In fact, yeah. I said that a few moments ago. Uh, I guess. Hey man, you've been doing so great with your, well, you know. You? I was wondering, how do you do it? Uh, I don't know. No, I don't think he does. I concentrate and it just happens. Yeah, well, Sean tried doing that. I think he was, at the end of the previous episode, I think when he tried to lift that rock, he was wondering just vaguely to himself whether this was a genetic thing and that he had this ability too latently hidden within him. Um, does it hurt? It's an interesting one. Thinking of the franchise and other games in the series. Wait, does it hurt? Nah, it's kind of itchy though. Interesting. And exhausting. Uh, Sorry. Anyway, remember the rules, right? We really don't want Claire or Stephen to start asking questions. I know, I know. Don't show, don't talk. Just keep that in mind and Everything should be fine. Sleep tight, little cub. And here's the thing, isn't it? To know that you've got a superpower, but you're not allowed to use it. Can he really do that? Also, what he said there about being exhausted by when he uses it is interesting too, isn't it? Um, no spoilers, but you know, there are other games in this series and those people who've played them may be thinking things that I'm thinking at this point. So how's this going to pan out? Can they really just live with Grandma and Grandad? How long for? Is she going to keep them there? Is she not going to let him go off to Mexico? Is she somehow going to engineer it for him to face the truth? Face the authorities? The fact that they are wanted, you know, he's kind of ignoring it in a way. Just assuming that they can be on the run forever. <laughs> and we've got some fresh clothing. Uh, where is your brother? Oh, are we in exploring mode? We're in exploring mode. I could sleep all day long in this bed. I'll bet. But I'm way too hungry. It's a wonder you didn't. Uh, there is many things to look at here, and we're going to look at many things. That's cool. Claire dug this up for us. That's such a baller in his suit. Well, there's Mum. Some laughter. This is pretty good so far. I love that Stephen only has crime and train books. Inherent mice. <laughs> wow. 
Uh, well, we'll do that in a minute. We'll get dressed in a second. I want to look around the room first because I'm sure there's other things to see. Backpack. Can't believe we actually spent a month out there by ourselves and survived. I can believe this, but it's astonishing. It's a, a month's a long time. So, in our backpack, we have a blanket, which we haven't looked at. We have a canteen, probably the best thing we found in the old house. We've looked at everything there. Uh, in Daniel's inventory, he's got an old tarp. He's also got his croco disc. <laughs> uh, he has a space scuba because everything's got to have a different meaning in Daniel's backpack, hasn't it? He's got a demon blonde who's too creepy and also his canteen. Right, journal wise, we've probably got a bit to look at here. Just a few pages, which we should do. Let's do this. There's the picture that he drew when Mushroom was still alive. Ah, oh, and there's the grave when Mushroom wasn't still alive. December the 2nd, he didn't make it to Christmas. And then we've got Burning Cold. Had to carry Daniel for over two miles. No one stopping to help us. What's wrong with these guys? So they were willing to actually accept a lift. How dangerous would that have been? December 5th, 2016. Dan getting better. He's eating like a horse. Guess that's good. Been hanging out with C and S a lot. Claire and Stephen. Pretty awkward after all these years. They're walking on eggshells not to talk about Seattle or Karen. There's a huge elephant following us everywhere. Rude. And then we've got pictures of them both. <laughs> Drawn by them both, by the looks of it as well. Oh, and there's Mushroom in the middle with a Christmas tree. Uh, and then the Reynolds rules. Discretion. Don't leave the house. Disconnection. No phone. No internet. Daily chores. Homework for Daniel. LMAO. And good luck with that, Claire. And then bored. Grateful for being here, but needed to get out. Got to think of what's next. Ain't no chill for the wicked. And then the final page. Some coloured illustrations that he's done of various things around the house. Okay, good. Pretty badass. Thanks. <laughs> so are you. Uh, we've done the journal, haven't we? I think. There was nothing before the picture there. Yeah, we've done it. Yeah, no fever yet. Only just. Here's our map showing where we've gone to now. We're at the Reynolds house. Um, I didn't mean to get off that. And the last thing here is still customising Sean's bag. I'm not going to do that just yet. Thank you. Right, continue looking around this room. Daniel's bag. Yeah, we've been in Daniel's bag. We know what's in it. Uh, we have wooden blocks. Daniel is training his precision with ease. Oh, so he is still exercising awesome. his power. He is still doing exercises with his power. I thought you'd kind of banned it whilst he was here. Thanks, Claire, but I will never wear these things. Really? You say that now? Dice. That's a cool memento of our secret cabin in the woods. Yes. Probably someone else's secret cabin by now. I think we've looked at everything in this room, haven't we? Oh, no, we haven't. Space toy. Yep. Daniel knows how to milk grandma for toys. <laughs> Good. He deserves to be spoiled. He deserves a bit of happiness. He's been through something very, very bad. Uh, pajamas. <laughs> Daniel looks like a total thug in his new pajamas. Okay, time to get dressed, I think. Let's look at these clothes first in case there's something to notice about them. Claire wanted to throw her clothes away, but we convinced her that with some sewing and cleaning, it would be enough. She would probably have got you some more clothes, I would have thought. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, I don't think that anyone All right. in... I'm allowed to go out now. Okay, good. I don't think anyone in Beaver Creek would make the connection with these boys being her grandchildren and the fact that they were somehow connected to Esteban Diaz. I bet people there don't know that Karen was actually married to Esteban Diaz and he's the one who's been killed. So it's quite possible the secret will be easy for them to keep as long as they don't talk too much. As mum, as grandma said. Uh, let's leave. We've left. Sean! Oh, there's the train set. Whoa. Sean, are you awake? Yes, Breakfast I'm very awake. almost done, so come down when you're ready, okay? Okay! Yeah, I'll do that. Um, can I look at things while you're playing with the train choo set? Choo. No, I can't. Oh, careful, the train Chief. Set. Going too fast. We oh, have to. It's coming out of the we're tunnel. late on schedule. Yeah, but we're gonna scare the passengers away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wasn't that funny, Stephen? <laughs> Steady now. Keep taking out the meds. Here. Faster! I, I think Dad, Grandad is running it at a speed that's appropriate to the scale. If he was to go faster, it would like be like the train was doing 400 miles an hour or something. Um, we're going to speak to Stephen, but we're going to look at him first. I'm glad they get along so good. Yes. Daniel's definitely the ideal grandson. Well, do you know, is this a possible future for the both of you? Would they All take aboard. you in? Would they? Let's speak. <sighs> What's up? Ah, look who's here. But uh, you're too late for the 915 Express. Yeah, I see. It's really um, It's okay. I'll take the next one. It will leave after breakfast. Don't be late this time. Fair enough. I won't. Whoa. <laughs> Was it me or did Daniel just fly across the room at that point? Come on. The chief has to get this train to Seattle by noon. Don't use your powers, Daniel. Don't you dare. I mean, Grandpa's built this in sections. Can you see there's like a join there, halfway down the hillside that runs across the ground as well. And then there's another one here. Uh, and another one here. So, I bet he's been building this for a while and it looks like he still is, because this end isn't finished. So much traffic in town! The Do landscaping isn't done. Yeah, well, this engine runs on charcoal, Chief. Ooh, that's true. And we have a ton of it. I see Stephen's not letting them operate the controls. He's doing that himself. <laughs> you can look, but don't touch. I love how Stephen is kind of an old nerd. <laughs> He's sweet. Here's the thing. Everyone... Just about everyone becomes an old nerd when they get older, if they've been nerdy when they were younger. If you weren't nerdy when you were younger, I think you don't turn into a nerd Watch when you get older. Watch out for any train hoppers. I mean, they ought to make signs. I love how Steven is kind of an old nerd. You've said that already. <laughs> He's sweet. Uh, okay, look, there's nothing else happening here apart from a train going round, so I'm going to go wandering. Because that's what we do. Door. Open door. It's been locked ever since we got here. I kind of don't give a fuck. Oh, careful, Chief. They're going too fast. What does that mean? We're late on schedule. This used to be Karen's room. Oh. <laughs> Wonder what they've done with it. <laughs> Maybe they've done nothing, and that's why it's locked. I don't care. Uh, yeah, question. Where is Karen? This is, this is interesting. Um, all right, towels. It's crazy how everything is neat and tidy here. Y you mean... Quite the change from our last home. Yes. Well, yes. But it's not crazy. It's, it's sort of uh, surprisingly normal. They have so many pills and stuff to take. Yep. Welcome to old age. Oh, old. Man. Claire's food smells so good. I'm starving. I did you know I mean the thing about old being old is that yes uh, the body can be a bit of a problem 
but your brain can be the age you want it to be, really, you know? There's no rules about it. Hope I'll never have to hold on to a bar to take a shit. Oh, please, too much information. <laughs> I suspect it's... yes, I'm not going to go there. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's... it's authentic to the age of the characters, Sean. Hey, we like mirrors. There you are. Have a look at yourself. But you haven't seen yourself for a while. You've aged. You've aged, son. I think it's the heavy responsibility you're carrying around with you. Um, that's his bedroom, but there's no opportunity to open the door. So much traffic in town. Good. Have enough fuel? <laughs> yeah, well, this engine runs on charcoal, chief. Ooh, okay. that's true. You're starting to sound like androids. Yes. You're repeating yourself. I'm going downstairs because I'm hungry. You two could stay there and play trains. Um, there's a decent downstairs. Do we get to explore down here as well? I mean, we were in this room the night before. Someone's been playing games. Someone's been playing Draw. I don't know how that works. Is it a real game? I've never heard of it. We have quite a few board games, actually. Careful! Tunnels ahead! Hold Indeed. your breath! I, um... Whoa, you made it. Went through a phase oh of collecting my. them for a while. Look who's awake. Oh, it's so dark. It's that bad. Yeah, just Seems hang on. like a cloud. <laughs> I know. Grandma, I'm just exploring your house. Can you hold on your conversation a little while longer? <gasps> it's the water eater. We're back to the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit. Uh, turn the light off before you go. You can sit down, money. Sean. I'm fine. Aren't you I'm, hungry? Yeah, I'm starving. But I'll be back in a second because you've got a house for me to explore. And I'm guessing there's stuff that I can interrogate. Um, I, mean, I could be wrong. There's pot plants not saying much. Ship in a bottle. Um, audio visual. Heating department. Um, floral arrangements. Ooh, that's a nice chair. With that stool as well. That could be a pleasant corner in which to read stuff. Toilet. Let's get the lay of the land. We may as well. There's a door here, which again we cannot go through. The front door and we're back. Okay, I'm going to go and talk to Grandma. This will be interesting, talking to Grandma on our own, won't it? Oh, can I look around your kitchen first? Just want to admire it. Why are there so many stockings hung up? I know it's Christmas coming, but you know, in the UK, we tend to ha hold up or hang up one stocking per person. Um, I wonder if this is an American thing where they just sort of use more as decorations because they're quite big. You get little stockings that you can hang on your Christmas tree. We have those, but um, you see, look, who is this just for them? Is this just for Claire and Stephen? Join for breakfast. Daniel, mm. breakfast time. Your brother is ready. Yeah, yeah come on, Daniel. Grandma's showing me your bald star. Stephen, your grandson needs to eat now. You can show him the boxcar later. I love how they're getting along. They are, aren't they? Um, let's offer to help. Do you need help or anything? Oh, don't worry. I can do this in the dark. <laughs> Thanks for the offer. Yeah, I wonder all if he's right, right. offering that because he saw the bar in the Are toilet. boys done playing? We had a express delivery with the passengers. But the engine broke down. Yep, has to go straight oh. to the workshop. Good. No trains in the kitchen, remember? House rules. Gotcha, Chief. Choo-choo! <laughs> That's the first time I've seen Choo Choo spelt with a T at the start. Ah, oh, sugar. <sighs> he can fix his trains, but not my kitchen. I thought she'd hurt herself there for a moment. Uh, I'm guessing these must be eggs. Are they eggs? It's steaming. Did I make enough? Everything's I okay? 
It's Jinx. great. As usual. You're the best cook ever. Looks like you're getting cozy with this new country life after all. Um, do you miss Seattle? I think you miss things in Seattle, like Lila. Um, yes. I miss Seattle. My friends. Oh, there's so much more to do in the city. <laughs> There's yes. more crime, more traffic. More police officers Nobody looking for you. can go out anymore. I think there's crime everywhere. I love Seattle. But it's cool here, too. Well, yes. it's certainly safer for children. Come on, be grateful. Everybody out here is a neighbor. We try to lend a hand. Like to Charles next door. I knew that was he coming. He lost his wife, and things have been hard on him and his son. Yes. He would just get lost in Seattle. But we're all taking care of him here. How old is his son? I, I think he's your age. Ooh, cool. I'm so glad we made that detour to do the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit because this all fits in now and it all makes sense. It's all linked together. Okay, that was good. Breakfast is complete. Daniel. Um, I, do you know I chose to do nothing at all there? Oh, I thought Stephen was a fast eater. Hey, what would have happened Grandma, if I said stop? I wanted to ask you something. About that locked room upstairs. I told you, there is nothing to see in it, Daniel. Why were you in it this morning, then? Because there's a lot of old junk in there. Interesting. And besides, it's not safe for you to explore, okay? But we'll be fine. What was she doing in that room this morning? Why don't you go explore outside? You sure look like you're getting better. Get some fresh air. I'll wait for Sean, and then we'll go. We won't be loud. Yeah, that... Promise. But be careful nobody sees you. Okay. Stay that, in the back. Magic okay? cough mixture of yours, Grandma. Cured his latent pneumonia. Maybe you should tell him that it was Karen's room. It's just a room now, Sean. Nothing to see. Uh, so why is it locked? Why lock it then? It feels like you're hiding something. Ooh. There's no secret. We just want to move on with our lives, Sean. So nobody goes in the room, okay? Okay. I'm serious. I can tell. Um, let's see if she's been in contact with Karen. Did Mom ever contact you? She only talked to Dad a few times. Then she was gone. Yes, she was. You know, Sean, I don't really want to talk about this anymore. It's over. Anyway. So you had no contact either? You have to respect my rules under my roof. Okay? Okay. Uh, yeah. Of course. <sighs> Always. Don't tell Grandma I to chill out. That, Sean. Been horrible. Now you better go find your brother. It's painful for them, isn't it? There's a shed with some old toys outside. I'll bet Stephen has the key. Danny will freak. Change your subject. Thank you. So, why was Grandma in Karen's room earlier in the day? And... Why she had... There's a phone ringing. Hello? Let's eavesdrop. Well, of course I know who this is, Chris. What a nice surprise. Are you okay? Is everything all right? This is the phone call from next door. That is so sweet. I'm so glad to see you playing outside like a real boy. Well, anyway... 
I'll be happy to let Stephen know his services are required. He loves that treehouse. Come in my treehouse. What bad guys? Who do you mean? And the call ends. Oh, I'm so glad we played Awesome Adventures of Captain Spirit. We've just heard the other side of the phone call that Chris made. Hey, Claire. You're not the only one Karen hurt. No, that's true. I'm going to come back and speak to you in a moment because I want to look at everything, including this bubbling aquarium, which I can hear in my ears. It's really weird in headphones. I haven't seen any actual fish in there since we got here. No. Uh, they were all piranha. They ate each other, and the last one died of old age. Fireplace. Such a big fireplace. Nice, isn't it? And not even needed. Well, no. That's luxury. Yeah. Aw. You had a dog? Yes. Feeling of love. Charlie left us three years ago. Passion oh. princess? With us. Did you hear uh, that? Today. Escape to pleasure? Man. She's Does Claire read all these? Years. So we never forget her. Okay. They had a dog three years I'll ago. I never forget it, Mushroom either. It died. It died. Uh, she was talking over it there when we were looking at the the pictures. I will we'll come back and relax and draw. That's something else. Ship in a bottle. Oh, this looks cool. Yeah. Too bad it's broken. Uh, oh. Uh, okay. We're going to have to start asking questions. What happened to the ship? Oh, that thing? Stephen made it years ago. But it fell and he doesn't know how to fix it. That's sad. Looks pretty cool anyway. Yeah. Sean, quick! Look well, at this fish! Why, has the fish life. appeared? It's so beautiful. Where? Dude, come on! I haven't seen any actual fish in there I since we got here. Fish in it. Yeah, really? Hmm, I'm not so sure myself. Alright, charity flyer. I heard Claire rehearse some songs. <sighs> She's got the groove. Okay, so there's going to be a choir performance on December 21, 2 and 3 in the Main Street. Sing the whole family along. Let's see what you did there. Um, what else was over here we needed to look at besides that? There was a um, spot to relax and draw, which we'll come back and do in a bit. But I want to carry on looking around. There's a book, there's a book. What is this? Oh, tidy it away. Put it away. Tried one of Claire's books yesterday. Did you? It's basically a telenovela with white old women. Posh, but probably accurate. Uh, pencils. I'm glad I picked these up. Yep. Gives me something to work on when they're all watching TV. Okay, not a TV fan. I'm tempted to call my wife to look at that cushion on the right there because I swear we have its twin brother or sister. We do. We Put actually do. This into your daily narrative. Beautiful. Okay. Claire is receiving inspiration from some texts that she's reading. Meantime, I'm going this way because there's still stuff to see here. Travel picture. I wonder where this was taken. Oh, I don't, I don't picture Claire and Stephen as world travelers. Well, where was that picture of you guys on the beach from? We went to Hawaii when Stephen retired, believe it or not. There you go. It wasn't a sort of trip for a reason. <sighs> That's so cool. I could totally see you surfing. Really? Did you love it? Well, it was too much paradise for me. I think Stephen could have stayed. Dad said Puerto Lobos was... Like a mini paradise. Of course mm. you would. That doesn't mean you'll think that. We'll no. Good point. Very good point, Grandma. You see what she's doing here? She's trying to gently steer him away from seeing it as a logically rational thing that they can do. Easel. It's cool that Claire does her little paintings. <laughs> you and Grandpa really looked funny before. Daniel, you would have looked the same back then. <laughs> I would never get that haircut. No, though you could do with a haircut. I think both of you probably haven't had one for a while. Um, 
Yes, all right. I'm speaking from experience in the past. I could. Hey, Grandma. Yes, what? Where are the fish? Where are well, the fish, Grandma? There's only one. And he's terribly shy. Hmm. Oh. Hang on. Do I see a fin waving underneath there? I think I do. I haven't seen any actual fish in oh, I think there I just saw it. since we got Sean. here. Sean, I think I just saw it. Look, in the middle of the screen there. Something's moving. Um, TV? Such a big fireplace. Yeah, I've seen the fireplace. Got to interact with the TV. Needed. That's luxury. Um, I want to... That's it. Look at the TV. They have a kick-ass set, but... Yes? They only watch boring shows and cable news. Yeah. Man. Can you imagine watching a slasher out here? Deep in the woods. In the dark. No one around. Mm. No way. Two stairs. Yeah, I mean, come on. How old is Daniel? The best will in the world. He's not old enough to do that. Um, before I speak to you, Claire, I'm going to go over here and do some drawing because it's as I can. So, spot, relax, and draw. Ah, uh, poor man. Come on, let's go. Hey, we've all. I want to be in your drawing. Go on then. You're going to have to sit still. Oh, don't draw me like this, Sean. I'm a mess. <laughs> don't worry. I'm drawing the whole room. Good. It's so nice to see you practice. Splendid. You're so passionate. I'm not moving. Good. Hope I look good. So do I. Um, I'm just trying to remember how to draw. <laughs> Can anyone remember how we draw? I'm not moving. Yes, you nope. said that. I, look good. I can't do anything without looking up first. Oh, good idea. I've got to look up first to observe. Thank you. Forgot about that. I've cool. observed you. I think I'm ready I'm to draw moving. this. I now I can move, I can draw. Here it comes. Look, this is like an old-fashioned computer game where I'm you have to moving. wiggle the joystick. Hope I look good. You look great, kid. Uh, oh, let's observe the entirety of the rest of the room. There we go, scanning it all in. Time to take the pen, dude. Hope I look good. I wish you'd stop saying that. I'm starting to worry about you. I think you might be an android. I think we've got a crossover story going on here. I mean, Detroit becomes human. I'm not moving. Your point. Hope I look good. Yeah. I really thought of it that way. Please stop talking. Do I need to take some more observations? I do. Let's observe Grandma. I'm not moving. Hope I look good. <sighs> okay. Got it. Okay, I'm going to start counting the number of times that you say that now. Here comes Grandma. I'm not moving. Drawing star. Hope I look good. Okay. I we paused. We paused at that point. Hmm. I'm not leaving. Pretty good. Let's take it all. But I can add more details if I want. I'm not I want. Hope I look good. I've looked enough. Time to draw now. I mean, I swear, if he doesn't shut up saying, I'm not moving, he's going to do it again. He's going to do it again. I'm not moving. I told you. Hope I look good. I'm not going to draw you anymore if you keep doing that. And you are moving. Cool. I yeah. think I'm ready to draw this. Fibber. I'm not moving. Hope I look good. Drawing. I think we're about there. I oh, know we've still got to do Grandma's detail because she looks like she's beaming in from her I need ship. to train my visual memory. You do. Hope I look good. Um, I should turn your auditory memory off so that your brother Time doesn't to take the pen, dude. drive you insane. Stephen ought to read this. Really? I'm not moving. Hope I look good. I wonder if Grandma is looking for guidance in the things she's reading. There we go. I think that is a complete drawing, a drawing completed. Phew. Thank heaven for that. 
Right, where can we go now? Um, that's a good question. Oh, we haven't looked at the Christmas decorations. I miss Dad and his silly <laughs> Santa Gringo accent. Hmm. I mean, it's fine to miss things like this, but whoa, it's not going to change it. Look at all these decorations. He's that's gone. So cool. We didn't discuss them very much, though, did we? Was that a discussion? That was more an observation and a response. I would have thought. Oh, so. Of course I am. When do we start? I'll get it this weekend. Oh, nice. We're going to be there for Christmas. Jeez. I told him about leaving his toys around. That is a death trap for an old person, Daniel. Are you trying to murder Grandma? Interesting. <laughs> what do you think of my birds, Daniel? <laughs> They're kind of creepy. <laughs> Don't be silly. <laughs> While he was being honest, you asked him. This is the problem when you ask people questions. You can't then sort of get a little upset by their response if it's not exactly what you were expe expecting from them. Um, I don't think there's a great deal to look at. You belong in the cupboard. It does, so shall we put it away? Clean kitchen equals clean conscience. If only it was that easy. They are being helpful around the house though, aren't they? I mean, he's already prevented a homicide. Another one. Oh, chores list. <sighs> yeah. Pretty different from the one we had back at home. I don't know, let's read it. Housework Stephen has got to vacuum, fold towels and fix drawer. Well, you just broke it. Sean and Daniel, tidy room, put clothes in, washing machine, hug grandparents. And Claire, <laughs> she's only got one task, everything else. That's very good. Oh, so we've got tasks, tidy room, put clothes in, washing machine, hug grandparents. Uh, all right, can we go start doing, should we start doing those? Uh, this door will open. It's a larder pantry, food cupboard, call it what you wish. Um, we can look at some of this stuff now that we couldn't look at before. I don't know when Daniel will be able to go back to his school. No, but Grandma's found some sort of workbook with exercises, maths by the looks of it, for him to do. This is fun every once in a while, but it gets old every other night. Do you know, you really should be counting your blessings at this point and not complaining so much. Think of the alternative. See you tonight, buddy. <laughs> they get the same board game out every night. It's probably something they don't have much of. Why would they? Um, oh, hello. Hmm. I think I need a handy assistant. Very much Can you hello. hand me the glue uh, in the glue. cupboard behind me? Sure. Hold yeah. on. I can do that. Search cupboard. Whoa! Ooh. Careful. Sorry, I've, I forgot. That thing isn't too stable. Let me just... Uh, okay. Sorry. My fault. Your grandmother keeps telling me, but... Uh, She's I'm right. a lazy old man. Hey, uh, can you close the door? You've got the energy I to work on trains. For a second. Oh. Why do you why do you not fix the leg of that cupboard, which is propped upon three wooden uh, blocks? It's a power cable, of course. Yeah, it happens all the time. Yeah. What do you want to talk about, Grandad? So, listen, I've uh, noticed things with Daniel. You really? know what I'm talking about, don't you? I hope not. Um... <sighs> Tell him. Yeah. I do. But uh, how the heck is that possible? I mean, he can... Well... 
You know more than me. Yes, we do. Um, Finish your sentences. Not really. Both of you. It started in Seattle after. Finish your sentence. Everything happened. I wish I could explain, but that's how it is now. And we have to live with it. I I really don't know what to think. Come on, you've lived a long time. You need a doctor. Really? Or something. Or something. Then I'd probably never see him again. <laughs> yeah, I get it. He needs you. They'd want to study him forever, wouldn't they? More than anything else. And by the way, let's keep this between us. Claire has a lot of strong beliefs. Right. She wouldn't understand. She adores Daniel. And just wants both of you to be safe and happy. Mm. What I'm trying to say is... Maybe you should stay here with us. I know you boys plan to run to Mexico. Here we go. See, Grandad's in it as, and on this as well. I'm sure they've discussed this. It's a very small community. Let, let's do the why not and see what happens. Thanks. Maybe we could, but... No, he's decided not to. Why not? Oh. I know, being out here in the sticks with us old farts isn't exciting, but this is your home now. It's cool. Kind of different, but... You're going to need one. I just don't want you to get into trouble because of us. It's dangerous to be on the road. True. Do you think your father would have wanted this for his kids? Excellent question. Oh, I don't say well, you don't know him. That's harsh. Is that their fault? Of course not. But everything's different now. I know. I know. Well, just think about it. That's the best thing to do. But don't push. Don't torture yourself. I will. Hey, uh... Yeah? Claire said you had the keys for the tool shed? Yes. Oh, uh, sure. <clears throat> Here. You guys enjoy the sun. Thanks, Grandpa. And be careful with that shed. It's probably a mess inside. Thanks. All right. I hope that's not foreshadowing some event. I almost think someone's going to get killed by that cupboard. Good to see you in my lair. Yeah, you've got a great man cave. afraid to come in here as a kid. Really? <laughs> Why? No idea. But you're a big boy now. You can take a look around. Thanks. I'll eat you. Cool. I love looking around, Grandpa. Thank you. What have we got? Disco ball. Why have got a disco, have a disco ball? ball? Are you like throwing parties and stuff? No, this is a, a souvenir. You know, I actually met your grandma during a oh. disco night. Believe it or not. For real? That's so cool. She was such a good dancer. We danced the hustle. <laughs> and I, I knew I was going to marry that woman. Aww. Who said that? By the way, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> but it sounds so very cute. <laughs> well, I'd show what it is if only these hips allowed me to. Oh, Grandpa. Grandpa. Um, yeah, come running with me, Grandpa. That'll keep you fit. <clears throat> I'm not saying it won't hurt, but it'll keep you fit. Okay. Oh! Exhibit A. A close-up of Karen. Okay. Oh, God. You found this. Well, it wasn't I, exactly uh, hidden. I just forgot to... Uh... It's okay. It's been a while since I've... Seen her face. Uh, yeah. I like taking a look at it from time oh, to time. Oh, Grandpa. Doesn't it hurt? Yeah, it does. But she's still my daughter, you know. 
I can't approve what she's done, but I... I... Uh, I think I understand. Good. I don't. Oh. Well, you're coming at it from different angles, aren't you? Sorry, John. Please don't... Uh, please don't say anything to Claire about this, okay? Don't worry. I won't. So here it is. We are right here. They're both very badly affected by what Karen's done and the fact she's not around, <coughs> aren't they? And yet... They've got sort of a kind of connection they can't break and they can't stop themselves from looking at stuff mm. even though it's mm -hmm. painful to do it. Um, I want to look at the train catalogue first. Stephen sure takes his hobby. Yes. Mm. I bet while he's playing with his trains, like he's doing now, he's not thinking about trains. Mm. Yeah, I've just got to unscrew this. Well, do that then, quietly. Uh, you have a laptop, but we're not allowed to use it. Yeah. Well, well, I'm sorry, Sean. I know you guys miss your games and your websites. But trust me, a, a break from all this can only do you good. You know, and it's, it's safer that way. Yeah, yeah. I know. You say that, but Lila must be going out of her mind with worry. I mean, she was already worried in the conversation she had. She couldn't sleep. Remember that? Oh, man. Who did this? Oh, it was our neighbor's son, Chris. Uh, yeah, I, I helped him and his dad build that treehouse. Yes, you Why did. Why are you holding a fire sword? I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, you know, that kid sure has an imagination. Doesn't he just? <laughs> uh, uh. Right. Okay. Looks good. I love the way that these the explorations you do fill in. Not just one character, the one you're talking to, but other characters too. It fleshes them all out, doesn't it? It creates a whole sort of integrated existence for them. Um, we're done, I think. <clears throat> right, Grandad. Uh, it's been great seeing you in your lair. There's nothing else to look at here. So I'm off. Can I say goodbye to you? No. No, I can't. Mm. Open the door. Get out of there, Sean. Oh, there you are, Sean. Uh oh Got the key? Hey. <laughs> I have to go out and run some errands. Right. Can you do me a big favor? Yeah. Do you know how to work a washing machine? Yes. <laughs> Since I was about eight. Of course. Can you throw in yours and your brother's clothes after the next load? They're in the bathroom basket. Totally. Yeah. Um, Will do. No problem. Thanks so much. Feel free to keep on tidying your stuff, too. Huh. It's good for the health to keep the house clean. Definitely. Yeah. Daniel can help. Ah, and remember, for your own safety, no phone and no internet. Yes, you get this. I know, I know, boring rules. Don't worry, Claire. Hey, Daniel! She's trying to protect There's you. There's work for you. Uh, no, I'm busy. D busy doing what? Busy my ass! Come over here. What are you doing? You gotta find me first. Oh, Jeez. in a minute. Well, uh, there's some paper here. Look at it. Claire can draw pretty damn good. Yes, you see? You've inherited Guess this it skill. Runs in the family. Yes. There you go. There's something you can talk to her about as long as you don't mention the crockery. What's even the point of having so much crockery? Because once upon a time, they probably had housefuls of people. And now they don't. Um, door search? Search mode? Oh, we're looking for Daniel, who's hiding. Uh, we, we could just, he's not going to be in there. He's not going to be in there. Uh, he's probably in the fish tank, <laughs> swimming around. Um, oh, Grandma's gone. Oh, Grandma's gone. Yeah, she went out. Um, I'm guessing he might be upstairs, although now we can open this door. Hey, in um... Look for Daniel, Mert. Are have we you seen Daniel? He's... Missing. Hiding somewhere. 
<laughs> running away from chores. Tell us where the best places would be. Relate. Sorry, Sean. He's he's not in here. I swear. Yeah, but where would you hide, yeah. Granddad? Well, thanks. If you were hiding from Claire, Granddad, where would you hide? Duh. Um, yeah, all right. I'm guessing he's upstairs. I could be wrong. We've got to go upstairs anyway because we've got to go to the bathroom and sort out the stuff. Um, well, he's not in here. And he's not in the train bit. It's not a huge house, is it? In terms of the number of rooms, he won't... Oh, visa vis a vis <sighs> Fuck. Ooh. I broke this thing like... Ten years, years ago. ago. I can't believe they fixed it. And kept it. It obviously meant something to them. This used to be Karen's room. I know, you can't go in there. Hmm. Hmm. Wonder what they've done with it. Nothing much. Bathroom. Um weren't the clothes supposed to be in the bathroom? Oh looky here. I know you're in there. Gotcha. gotcha. Oh. Come on, get your butt out. Together. Okay, okay. No more hiding. Yeah, come Seriously. on, there's stuff to do. Okay, okay. What do I have to do? You tidy the mess in our room, Yep. and I take care of the laundry. Yep. Cool? Yeah, sure. It's hot. I know. Thanks. Claire likes a tidy and orderly house. And if you're going to live there, You've got to continue to help making it tidy and orderly. Where, did anybody remember where the washing machine was? Oh, I... Easy peasy. Oh. Look what he's doing. He's done his Mary Poppins Don't. thing. <sighs> Can we go outside now? Yeah. No. Let me just throw our clothes in the machine. No, we can't. I didn't good. ask him to stop because no one would see what he was doing there. Grandad's already uh, cottoned on to it. He's got the idea. And I can't remember where the washing machine is. Does anybody know where the washing machine is? Anybody? Uh, that's the toilet. Um, there were, there were, yes. Here we go. Can I put the light on even though I've got my hands full? Click. Right. Washing machine. There's a note. Here's a note. As always with Claire, I can't really tell if this is cute or bossy. This is what she wrote. Dear husband, if you do laundry, please follow these simple rules. Do not mix whites and colours, ever. Use one cup of detergent red box for each load. If you wash my clothes, use the delicate cycle so you don't ruin any more of my clothes. Love, wife. <laughs> Ah, uh, one cup of detergent, red box. There's the red box. Okay, washing machine. Let's wash. Do it. How many programs does this thing have? I don't okay. Know. Vertical takeoff. Hey, um, I have no idea. Uh, I'm looking at my timing clock, and I think this is going to be a good place to stop because there's quite a lot of exploration of the house gone on and we've just had a game save down in the bottom corner so I'll be back with you in a second. That was a terrific episode because Grandma and Grandad acted like tour guides. Our interactions with them, the questions they asked and the questions we asked, the responses each gave, all the evidence that was scattered around, the paraphernalia of the house, the objects that we interacted with and explanations that were given about context it has filled in a huge amount of the backstory of what's gone on in the Esteban household and particularly relating to Karen the missing daughter until the point we've reached now there's been a sort of reconciliation here because those children will not have seen the grandparents this is the maternal grandparent remember and they stayed with their father obviously because mother left and disappeared so there's been this gulf this lack of communication this break in the connection and it's now been re-established and the grandparents have been terrifically welcoming 
I'm obviously going to be talking about all of this in a lot more detail before we start episode nine. At this point, I just want to say thank you for watching. I'm sorry about the little interruption caused by environmental noise. It doesn't happen very often. And actually, when I listened back to uh, the first part where I stopped, I couldn't hear much of a lawnmower noise, but I thought you might be able to. My microphone did a sterling job, I think. Um, I'll be along with episode nine really soon. I'll see you then. Bye.